Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, tonight, we're just going to do a quick example on how to measure and cut for ABS piping. And actually, what's behind me is um, cast iron. This is a three inch cast iron waistline. And um, you can kind of see that uh, there's not much room for flow. Um, it almost looks like a planet, you know, and, and that's all rust. It's just gnarly. Um, they, they didn't get hardly anything out of it. I could not believe exactly what I was looking at when I opened up this pipe and, and removed it. So cases like this, yeah, it might not be a bad idea to run some ABS or PVC. Uh, what I did was I went ahead and drew up a small sample of, uh, of what you would have in a case of running a waistline. So here we have a long-term um, <coughs> long quarter bend, okay? Uh, they, they prefer to call things in ABS a little bit differently. Uh, I, this is, like I said, a long turn or a long sweep quarter bend. And this is located um, on page 31 of the Charlotte catalog. Uh, you can go to Charlotte Pipe and Boundary and get a PDF version of their uh, catalog online. And then we're taking it and I went ahead and wrote down that this is two inch pipe. So we're running a two inch waistline all the way across and tying into a four by two combination fitting. And the four by two combination fitting is considered a four by two reducing combination uh, Y and eighth bend. That's on page 50 of the catalog. So I went ahead and measured out three foot six and a half center to center. I went ahead and did a couple little pre-measurements here to show you what we're going to be taking off on the fitting side of things. So we go to page 31 and let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to page 31. I already have it set up here. Page 31, here is the long sweep quarter bend or long turn quarter bend and it's hub by hub. Here's your hub, here's your hub, right? All you have to do is take off that center mark to the back end of the hub. For two inch pipe, it's three and a quarter inches. So we take that three and a quarter, and here's that, remember I, I said we take it from the center line to the edge of the hub back here, so that's that right there. And we go ahead and mark that out at three and a quarter, All right? And let's go over here to the four by two combi. We're gonna go in and go back to that page and that, that link, and this is the link right here. And like I said, you just go to Charlotte Pipe and you'll be able to figure it out. Uh, we go to page 50, and here's your combination Y and eighth bend reducing. And we had a four inch line, see, four inch line, two inch branch. So we go back, four by four by two, and we have a couple of different letters here we wanna measure off, uh, or we have a couple of different options. Uh, that's the word I was looking for, options. And we're running in here, we're tying into the branch. And so the takeoff from the branch to the center, that's going to be your A dimension. Don't let it get confusing because this is the E dimension for cast iron fittings, not the A dimension. So four by four by two, A is six and an eight. So we go back over to here and we write down six and an eighth inches. And we're gonna subtract that off of this three foot six and a half. And that's going to get us our cut piece, which is gonna be right here. Right here. Okay, so that's gonna be our cut piece. Uh, we got six and an eighth and three and a quarter. That's what, nine and three eighths. So we're gonna subtract nine and three eighths. And that's going to give us an eighth of an inch. Uh, six minus nine can't really do that, so we borrow. I might as well do it this way instead of doing it in my head. 
we make that 18. We borrowed 12, not 10, so we make it 18. And so that gives us uh, 18 minus nine for nine inches and two feet. And that's going to be end to end. So my cut piece for a three foot, six and a half inch center to center measurement all the way across like so is going to be two foot nine and eight. And all we did was subtracted what the Charlotte book dictated for ABS. Uh, now, let's take a look real quick and show you four by four by two. It's, there's nothing shown here, right? There's no signifier for PVC or ABS or anything like that. It's blank. So check this out. We scroll down to the bottom of this page and it says, note, if PVC or ABS is not listed for a specific size, that size fitting is available in PVC and ABS materials. And the dimensions listed are the same for both materials. Conversely, you can go up, let's see, three inch PVC. Now this one is for a uh, regular straight up combination Y and 8 bin. No reducers in there, no, the branch isn't shorter or anything like that. It's three inch all the way across. So three inch PVC, you can see that the dimensions are slightly different than three inch ABS. Okay, so you got to pay attention. Don't take, don't do the takeoffs off of the wrong material. If you're using ABS, go with ABS. If you're using PVC, use PVC. With that being said, that's it. That's all you got to do. I'll uh, see you guys later. See you in class.